Culver's of Baxter invited a very special guest to the third annual Dairy Days celebration today. Blizzard the Cow was the center of attention as local dairy associations recognized June Dairy Month. Becky Parker tells us why they say it is an important tradition to honor. Far from her home on a farm, Blizzard provided some friendly competition between community members. And go! go. Mayor James Walleen, Senator Paul Gazelka, and Representative John Ward were among those who tried their hand in a cow milking contest. It's just great for everybody involved and these dignitaries will talk about it for a long time and it's, they enjoy it and it's a little bit of a competition for them. I took a shot at it and was able to get two ounces, but that was nothing compared to Rotary President Teresa Goebel's winning five ounces. Hey, how much is in that bucket there? I'm the oldest of ten kids, grew up on a dairy farm. Uh, we had to milk once in a while by hand. We actually, we did it more as fun, you know, so I just got lucky today. I've been the last one, everybody primed her before me and it worked out great. Culver's has held this event for the past three years during June Dairy Month. It's an opportunity to remind the public about the nutritional value of dairy products and also give them a little experience with the dairy industry. They get to see all the aspects of agriculture and the dairy industry and what we look like. We're not just people you don't see very often because you see the big dairy farms, but you don't see the farmers very often. As part of Minnesota agriculture, dairy stimulates the economy. Dairy Days brings attention to everything the industry does for the area. It's just a great event to uh, promote dairy, to promote dairy farmers, to promote agriculture in general. This is a major industry for Minnesota. We need to make sure it's successful. Uh, in fact, that's the only part of the budget that's been approved so far. Just being a dairy farmer, we're proud of what we do and we love our animals and take great care of them and care of the land because they're our livelihood. Participants and spectators enjoyed getting up close and personal with one essential food group. Coming down to it and stop. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Other festivities included a custard eating contest and a milk mustache contest. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.